Welcome to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And in the past few weeks, you've seen we've had some guests in and out, but today it's back to just you and me. It's just me and you. Nobody else can make it today, so you're just stuck with me. All right. We've got a lot of great <laughs> listings to talk about, but one thing that we were talking before I wanted to mention is some you know you guys are a real estate company mm -hmm. but you do auction services we do we actually our company is multifaceted so we have real estate appraisal auction services we also have educational services but we do do auctions for private uh, property owners we do auctions we do some for the city of Pikeville so we can help with those services if anybody would have any interest like for example one with the city of Pikeville mm -hmm. th very recently uh -huh. that has been done so if they have and it's not just pieces of property. It's like office equipment or surplus vehicles that they're not using anymore. Absolutely. And it the same thing for a personal property owner. We can do estate sales and that kind of stuff if uh, you know someone has passed away and there needs to be an estate sale to help empty out the house before the property is sold itself. So a lot more options than just mm -hmm. buying and selling property. Absolutely. And if they have an interest in attending an auction or if they have an interest in possibly holding an auction, they can just contact probably our Paintsville office. That's where our head auctioneer is. Mm -hmm. That number is 606-789-8119. Okay. Now let's get back to what we do here okay. on this show, and that's talk about listings. Okay. And the first one you've got is right in Pikeville. It is. This one is in the city of Pikeville, but it's actually uptown Mountain Road. And this one is a little bit unique because it's in the city of Pikeville, but it has eight acres of property. And this one is right on Town Mountain Road. Mm -hmm. So if it's like you're getting in the city of Pikeville and you're close to everything, but there's eight acres. Now, people are racking their brains because where in the world in Pikeville can you have eight <laughs> acres of property? Exactly. And it's right behind what most people will know as the log cabin restaurant, right. the old log cabin restaurant. Right, the old log cabin restaurant. It sits up on the hill right there. Um, most of the property is hillside acreage, but it does allow you quite a bit of privacy within the city limits, which is great. And then you do have a small yard site that's, I'm going to estimate, about a half acre. Mm -hmm. And it's got a storage building, it's got yard space, and then you have plenty of parking up there as well. And inside, it's very roomy. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're looking at the pictures, you see the, the living room, I guess, with this big stone fireplace. Correct. It's a little bit of a contemporary style, not so much on the outside as much on the inside, but um, it has very spacious rooms. The living room, like you said, has a stone fireplace. The two bedrooms that are on the second floor um, are huge and have very nice walk-in closet space. So, and you're looking at the eight acres, so you've mm -hmm. got some hillside behind the home. Mm -hmm. So if you like to hike or, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to raise your children the way a lot of us were raised and being out and being able to get dirty and go through the hills or whatever. Exactly. That's perfect. A lot of, you don't see that a lot anymore. You don't, and I'll, you'll actually like this. When I actually went up to take pictures and to put up the sign the other day, um, I actually ran four deer off the back porch. So you, you mm -hmm. it's right in your backyard, <laughs> literally. <laughs> <laughs> so great listing and all under two hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. This listing is at one ninety six, and um, again, it's just a great listing. If they have any interest, it's definitely one to check out. All right, new listing. Mm -hmm. Brand, Brand new, new listing. listing. All right. So if you want to see this one, give Jennifer a call. One zero five two seven three is that MLS number. Make sure that you give them that when you mm -hmm. call. And this one's you, so call your office. Absolutely, they can call the Pikeville office. That number is four three seven twenty three thirty three. All right. Moving on, we'll go to the mm -hmm. second listing. Now, this one is easier to talk about than it is to say where it is. Exactly. Saying kinnick, it and spelling kinnick, it. Kinnick, kinnick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't try to spell it. Just go and ask for kinnick, kinnick. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, this one is It's actually down past the old Mullins Elementary, that area right there on 23 after you've gone through Coal Run. That is kinnick, kinnick. And um, this property, it's got a very, very nice country setting. But you know, like I said, you're very close to everything. You're literally just outside of Coal Run. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're going north on 23 uh -huh. and you're leaving the Pikeville City limits, it's right before you get into that curve, I Correct. guess you could say. Correct. Right there on the right. And then the property only sits about four tenths of a mile off of 23. So you're not far up in a hollow anywhere to get the privacy that you still 
still want. But far enough to be able to get rid of the highway noise and things like that. Absolutely. Now looking at the picture of the front of the house, I mm -hmm. see lots of yard. Correct. This has a huge flat front yard. Um, it sits on about a total of an acre, but um, anything behind the house is again kind of the hillside acreage that gives you some privacy. It is fenced, mm -hmm. so you have a fenced yard, but everything in the front is flat and very usable. And fenced yards are great for mm -hmm. pets or children. Absolutely. Either one. <laughs> This is a ranch style house. It has extensive wraparound decking around three sides of the house. The back is all covered. Um, and then they did a lot of updates inside the house with hardwood flooring, crown molding. The kitchen was completely updated with mouser, counter, or mouser cabinets, mm -hmm. countertops, and then stainless appliances. So someone has taken the time to mm -hmm. make this home exactly what they want. Absolutely, absolutely. And they've they've done a very good job with it. This is a move-in ready house. And all very popular features. Uh -huh. Absolutely. All right. The MLS number on the house on Kinnikinick is 105274. Now Jennifer, if somebody wanted to email you mm -hmm. uh, versus giving you a phone call, what's your email address? My email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right. Now that is Kinnikinick just north of the city of Pikeville. Mm -hmm. Ask Jennifer about that house. Now, let's go back up into the city of Pikeville and up okay. onto the hill. Okay. You've got one at Chloe Ridge. Yes, I have one at Chloe Ridge. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we've actually gone through this one before, um, but this house is a beautiful new listing that is just, you know, it's in a gated subdivision. It's an executive style house. You've got over 3,200 square feet, five bedrooms, three and a half baths. This has all the amenities that you could want within the city. You've got an in-ground pool. You also have a fenced yard around the in-ground pool. You have extensive patio. You have a covered porch. So you really have a lot of outdoor space to work with out there. And this one also has custom cabinets. Mm -hmm. Custom cabinets, there are cherry cabinets, you have granite countertops, and um, you have a first floor master bedroom, which is a popular amenity mm -hmm. uh, anymore, and then the other four bedrooms are all upstairs. Um, and then one of the major bonuses with this one is you have a three car garage, and then you have additional garage storage. So that's perfect for a large family. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that there's so much space on this home that if somebody is a professional and they want to convert an extra bedroom or something to an office, they can do that also. There's plenty of room here. Absolutely. You have plenty of room to do that. And you have, you know, a formal living. You have a comfortable family room with a fireplace. You do have a little bit of an office space. But you have a lot of rooms that you could make work for various reasons. And, you know, anytime we talk about a house at Chloe Ridge, mm -hmm. you have to talk about that view. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this is... This house is no exception. It has, you know, that gorgeous mountain view where you're in the city of Pikeville, but you look out the back door and you have nothing but mountains to the back. And you're not just in the city of Pikeville. You could pretty much call this downtown. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's above downtown, right? but you're that close to exactly. all of the things. And we're coming up on summertime in Pikeville mm -hmm. when you have a lot of outdoor activities, a lot of tourist attractions now coming into town. And again, it's also a very exclusive location where, you know, the kids can go out and ride their bikes on the weekends because you know that the gate's shut down at the bottom and you have a little bit of security. You know, and this is a very well used lot mm -hmm. at Chloe Ridge because there's room for everything that you need and they've made it happen all inside this one lot. Exactly, exactly. Like I said, they have a lot of the outdoor space. You've got the three car garage, the pool, and then all the patio area. Um, so you, you have a lot of space to move and a lot of private space back there. All right. Well, that is one definitely to look at. Mm -hmm. It's listed at $629,000, the MLS number 105. Zero two zero. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, give you a call on this or email you either one? Either one. They can call the office as always, 606-437-2333. Okay. Now, let's leave Chloe Ridge a little bit and mm -hmm. let's go down into one of a, a, a very popular neighborhood in Pikeville, and that's the Poly Edition. Poly a lot edition. of history there. Yes, there is. Most of these houses were built in the 50s, as you know. Um, the old Poly Bridge that used to go across right there is now a walking bridge, but you have, you're kind of surrounded by old Pikeville history right there. And, and the good thing about, you know, the Poly Bridge being there, but being close to vehicle traffic, mm -hmm. is the fact that you can still get your bicycle across, you can still walk across, and mm -hmm. then you know, if you like to ride, by, ride bikes, you can ride all the way into downtown without ever getting anywhere near US 23. Exactly, exactly, which is a huge bonus, in my opinion. 
And then you've got the development of the shopping mm -hmm. in, in on the Thompson Road area. So you're very, very close to all of that, mm -hmm. but yet very quiet. You know, it's a good neighborhood. People still walk. They still walk their dogs. You still see people with pushing the baby strollers. Exactly. And they don't, that's not very common anymore. It's not, and this is the perfect neighborhood to kind of go back to those times. It definitely takes you back there. And the house is no exception. The house mm -hmm. itself kind of lends itself to the same mindset. So it's a three-bedroom, two-bath house, um, a little over 1,800 square feet. It's got that 1950s charm, but it's got a lot of updates throughout the house that have brought it, you know, more with the times a little bit. And you've got a neighborhood, and it's got a little yard to mow, mm -hmm. um, and a fenced yard. Yes, fenced yard. And then this one has, a, it's a really neat um, outdoor space in the back. It's kind of a covered deck. Um, it's got the old fabric top cover on it, mm -hmm. which is a really, really neat um, way to do it. It, it kind of goes with the style of the house, and it's, it's a good yard space. And this is probably one of those when people... You take someone to see the house, they mm -hmm. see this back area, and then they can envision their, their morning coffee or their evening sits in the summertime. Exactly, exactly, and it is. This is one that lends to that. This is the type of neighborhood that you can sit out and enjoy your evenings to. Exactly, exactly. Okay, this one's located in the Poly Edition. It is listed for one eighty four nine. Mm -hmm. It is. And again, this is one that you can contact our Pikeville office on. That number is 606-437-2333. And make sure that you tell them the MLS listing when you call that. You know, we mm -hmm. mentioned before how very important that is. And this one is 104237. That You tell them, they'll pull it right up, and then that's that much faster to scheduling your appointment to see this house. Exactly. Exactly. All right, let's finish up with... Uh, Colrin, mm -hmm. a house up on the hill. I think we've talked about it before, and yeah. I remember it because of the square footage. Yes, this is a huge house that is extremely conveniently located um, right off US 23. This house, as you're going north on 23, going out of Pikeville, as you go into Colrin, will come up on your right. kind of mm -hmm. sits up on the hill overlooking 23. Um, so you have a semi-private location because it's pretty much up there by itself. But the great thing is it's got windows along the back of the house pretty much in every room so oh, wow. you have gorgeous views overlooking 23 and kind of overlooking the Scott edition that area as well now if you're looking at the pictures on the screen mm -hmm. there's one that shows exactly how much space that you have and it makes you think of commercial but this house could go either way. This could be a commercial property. It could, and it actually has been used for a doctor's office in the past, so that's not too far out of the realm of, of possibilities. Mm -hmm. If you have a commercial interest, it has a walkout basement that is finished, So, and I believe it's close to 1,400 square feet of finished space. It's got a kitchenette and a bathroom down there. So if you wanted to have commercial space, it would be extremely easy to do. Um, and then the main living part of the house is 50... 5,300 square feet. So again, you have plenty of space if you wanted to do something commercial, you could. And there's not many times you see a home that you can completely separate exactly. into two spaces and not have to to combine the two. Exactly, exactly. And if they left it as a purely residential house, you know, it's it's a six bedroom home that if you do have a large family, this could also work for that very well. And two acres of property go mm -hmm. along with this, and mm -hmm. that's not very common either. It's not. The property on this on this house specifically is pretty much devoted to a small yard space. It has quite extensive parking, and then after that, it's pretty much just a secure privacy more than anything. You don't have a, a huge yard, but mm -hmm. you have a lot of privacy up on the hill because of the acreage. And you know that you can surround your house with everything. Everything you see from there, you can say, that's mine. Exactly, exactly. And that's important to a lot of people. It is. It is. And this, the house was almost completely updated fairly recently. It's got hardwood and tile throughout, um, a new kitchen. Um, it's got a lot of office space, like we've said, the large windows. So you have a lot of room to work with, and you really wouldn't have to do much of the work on updating it yourself at all. All right, this is one that's truly a great location. Mm -hmm. If you want to see this one, it's listed at $600,000. Give Jennifer a call or email you. Just go to mm -hmm. your email address one more time. One more time. It's jbrown at rbnw.com. But, of course, all the listings that we've talked about, plus the things that we haven't even mentioned, because you guys mm -hmm. cover several counties, Absolutely. are available on their website. Uh -huh. And you can always go to the website. It's www.rbnw.com.
Okay. Well, Jennifer, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank and you. And we're going to transition and let you do your real estate minute. At Red Rhino Williams Real Estate Services, in addition to real estate and appraisal, we also offer auction services. Many people forget about the benefits of auctioning real estate and personal property. Often an auction may be the best option for an owner who wants to sell and has a restricted time frame. Residential, farm, commercial, vacant land properties can all be sold using Red Brown & Williams Auction Services. In addition, estate personal property, equipment, fixtures, business personal property, vehicles, and other items can also be sold using auction services. Ray Brown & Williams has experienced licensed, bonded auctioneers, as well as other real estate professionals to assist you with all your real estate needs. Thank you for watching the Ray Brown & Williams Real Estate Show. I hope to see you again for our next show.